Michelli's 15th of the campaign in overtime put the final stamp on this one as the Oilers drop a 3-2 result to the Arizona Coyotes. Now, I guess the positive is that with that one point, the Oilers do secure home ice for the opening round of the Stanley Cup playoffs, but nonetheless, a disappointing result for Edmonton. Yeah, and going into the game with uh, some really big emotional games before, knowing that Vancouver's coming in the next night, I... I totally understand the the human nature of not having that same level. And, yeah. and the Oilers didn't have that same level early. Let's be honest. Arizona played really well early, had uh, Edmonton hemmed in a fair bit. Calvin Pickard made some great saves early in the game, made great saves late in the game. Edmonton had to ease their way into it. But once they got it going, they got it going. And uh, Karel Vamelka, at the end of the day, was able to sneak out of here with his team with two points because of the goaltending down at the Arizona end. But uh, the line of uh, Henrique, Kane, and Fogel, thought played, they played really well tonight. Excellent. Darnell Nurse uh, had a lot of great moments in this game. Yeah, Evander Kane, who had a couple of assists, it's a couple of opportunities to score and and found the iron, yeah. missing the net minder, but not getting it into the net uh, as it went off the, we had a post and a crossbar. So there were positives uh, for Edmonton, for sure. Uh, but that was in the, the latter half of the game. And definitely in the third, they were down by one going into the third. They tied early in the third and then pressed and pressed and pressed and, and couldn't find that go ahead goal. But now, yeah, it's, uh, it was disappointing that they lost, but uh, I, I could understand going into that game why it was a bit of a slow start. Cam, building off something you just mentioned, uh, Darnell Nurse getting in the goal column. Another positive is that we continue to see consistent production from the back end for the Edmonton Oilers, of course, will be a key asset for this team moving forward into the postseason as well. But let's switch gears. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Saturday night, hockey night in Canada. It's Edmonton versus Vancouver. As of right now, they currently sit three points back of the Vancouver Canucks for the Pacific Division lead. That is a big, big matchup right here at Rogers Place. Yeah, and it, I'm winning the, the division championship. I still think that's a, it's a tough task, yes. you know, given the amount of runway left, which isn't much, and being down by, well, really three and a half as the Oilers don't have the tiebreaker. So... It's you know imperative for them to, to win tomorrow. Haven't played them in a long time. It was yeah. early in the season. Very. In fact, Chris Knobloch wasn't even the coach yet. And the Oilers are 0-3 against the Canucks. But now, you know, different look, Edmonton Oilers team. Don't know if uh, Connor McDavid's going to play, but wouldn't be surprised if he did. Thatcher Demko is now practicing with the Canucks. I don't know if he'll be in goal tomorrow, but certainly having him out of the lineup for an extended period of time hasn't helped them out. But uh, I'm looking forward to it because you know the vibe's going to be amazing at Rogers Place. Yeah. Game's going to be a lot of fun. And I, I, I really want to see uh, what the Edmonton Oilers look like. This version of the Edmonton Oilers, this part right yeah. now, not the early part of the season, That's right. right now what they look like against the Canucks. Well, Cam, tons of storylines heading into hockey night in Canada, but for us, it can be summed in three words. We can't wait.